This is Cook and Chisel Strength Workout C, four moves that work your whole body. You'll do one on the minute, every minute, rest the remainder of each minute before moving to the next exercise. Then you get a full minute of rest. That's a five minute cycle. You do six total cycles for a 30 minute workout. Here are the exercises. In minute number one, you've got a side plank hold progression, 15 seconds on each side, then rest the remainder of that minute before moving on to the next exercise. Three levels of progression. Start with the base move and then gradually build up over the course of the program. Level one, short lever side plank, legs bent at 90 degrees. Imagine that you are standing on your side. Elbow and shoulder aligned, elbow and fist aligned. Lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, crunch the abs, and hold. Level two, stack the legs, lengthen the lever to increase the challenge on the core and the shoulders. 15 seconds on each side. And then finally, level three, yes, raise that leg. Rock those hips, stabilize, make it count, move on to the next exercise. In minute number two, you're gonna do a dumbbell split squat for five reps on each side. Here's how I like to start them, clean up the form, lock in good mechanics. I want you to start on the ground in a kneeling lunge position. 90 degree angles in the legs, I'm digging the back toe into the floor, squeezing this butt to open up this hip flexor, and the shin is relatively vertical. From there, you're gonna grab your dumbbells, stay tall up top like balancing a glass of water on your head, and just push through the middle of that front foot and come to a full stand and lower in control. Five reps on each side, rest the remainder of that minute, then move on to the next exercise. In minute number three, we've got the dumbbell alternating overhead press for 10 total reps, five per side. I want you to block your feet together and squeeze your lace together. Get more stability, clench the glutes, rib shoulders down, abs tight. Palms start facing in, elbows tucked tight to the ribs. We're gonna press one up overhead, lower in control. As you're coming down, think about doing a one-arm pull-up or a one-arm pull-down. Use the lats to pull you back down. 10 total reps, five per side. Rest the remainder of that minute. Move on to the next exercise. For minute number four, we're gonna do 10 total alternating bicep curls, five per side, then rest the remainder of that minute. Block the feet together, elbows tucked tight to the side, shoulders down and back. We're gonna curl with a twist, making sure the elbow doesn't translate forward. Keep it tight to the ribs. And we're gonna do, again, 10 total reps, five per side. After you rest the remainder of that minute, after completing those reps, you'll get another full minute of rest. That's a five minute cycle, do six total cycles for a 30 minute workout. You can do it! They say it takes 10,000 reps to master an exercise. We're gonna find out today with 10 minutes of straight box squats. The box squat cleans up your form and takes pressure off the knees. What we're gonna focus on doing is pushing the knees out, shifting the hips back and staying tall up top, explode through, 10 minutes at your own pace. Perfect form and technique, and remember, the quickest way to look hotter is to become a better squatter. Do it today.